tune into the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing, brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles Schmidt Sports Complex. After a long season of gardening, one of the best rewards is that you get to pick the, uh, the produce of your um, labor and get to eat that produce. And so there's certain things that we are picking right now, um, certain vine crops that we are picking, and it's very important to pick those things at the right time. So I'm going to talk a little bit about how to do that. Now with many of them, it's very simple. If you're growing cantaloupe or muskmelon, a lot of times if you just lift that muskmelon or cantaloupe up, It'll slip from the vine pretty easily when it's ripe. Um, there are some varieties that aren't quite like that, so it's a little bit harder to tell, but many times those musk melons will just slip off the vine, and you know that it's probably a very ripe, ready to eat musk melon. Now on watermelons, a lot of times you'll have a little tendril right there where the watermelon attaches to the vine, and that will dry up. You'll also have a yellow or cream colored ground spot where that melon is actually sitting on the ground. So you want to make sure that's there. You want to make sure that tendril is dried up. And once again, it varies with the different varieties. So you might go back and look at what that variety says as far as harvesting. But a lot of times that's a general rule. As soon as that tendril is dry, you see that nice bright yellow ground spot. The melon is of a larger size if that's the, the type of variety it is you could go ahead and, and try to harvest at that time. Now when you're looking at squash and pumpkins, there are a couple different things to look for. Of course, you want to know what is the ultimate color of that pumpkin or squash supposed to be. With these little baby boos, or um, I guess these aren't baby boos, probably Jack B. Littles, these tiny little pumpkins, they're supposed to be a bright orange when they are fully ripe. So we know that these are not quite there yet, but we're well on our way. The other thing with pumpkins is you want the the skin or the um, peel to be very hard so that if you take your thumbnail and you push down into it you cannot penetrate it. Um, now once again these are not mature yet so they are very easy to puncture with my thumbnail. So you want to make sure that nice bright color, nice hard rind and then hopefully a loss of a little bit of juiciness with that stem that attaches it to the main plant and you'll know that it's probably ready to pick. Now, as I mentioned, it's a little early for these pumpkins, but in the next month or so, they should be ready in time for all, all of our fall decorations, our um, Halloween celebrations, things like that. So if you have questions about any of your vine crops that you're harvesting during this time or in the next couple of months, contact your local Extension office for more information. Reporting for K-State Research and Extension and Eagle TV, I'm Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Extension Agent. Tune into the Green and Growing program on Eagle Community Television with Holly Dickman, Ellis County Horticulture Agent. Holly will identify common lawn and garden issues and provide up-to-date information weekdays at noon and 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Green and Growing, brought to you by Eagle Community Television and Riedel's Garden Center, a full-service garden center west of Hayes on Highway 40 next to the Bickles-Schmidt Sports Complex.